So, hey guys, Chelsea here. This is going to be my accessible themes for treasure map lead performers. So yeah, let's jump right into it. Lead performers are pretty interesting. I just shortly summarized them, but they are strength driven powerhouse. Probably built to work with the upcoming Super Sugo Fest exclusive Kaido that we're getting in less than a week. And Captain Village is pretty cool. cool. 4.25 times attack with strength, driven, and powerhouse. They make decks quick matching. And if you get an attack on our orb boost, you get their special for free. That's very cool. That's one of my favorite Captain Ability effects you can have. Special itself Utility in removing the spear. They can change their own orb uh, to tandem, including one orb, so that's incredibly useful. And if Captain is driven on Powerhouse, you can extend conditional boosts, basically. And if Kaido is on the crew or a support character, you get a higher attack boost and you can buff your existing orb boost. Otherwise, you just get a slightly weaker attack boost for driven and Powerhouse. So, yeah, perfectly fine, special. Like changing tandem, uh, Wano orbs to tandem can be useful even if you don't want to use their tandem. Like you can just hit with another unit first and get their tandem buff instead of lead performer. So something to keep in mind. Super close uh, when you have an attack or orb boost, and basically you change your crew slots to decks. Reduces damage taken by 70% and driven becomes super driven. And yeah, this is built to work with the big mom super super fast legend we got. Basically, the full board of decks with big mom captain means full board of Samla. Big mom's uh, super EX changes Samla to Wano, and then you can use lead performer special to turn Wano to tandem, so you can use a super tandem. That's basically how it works. Uh, Super Tandem, pretty good, probably the best free to play one. You just need Kaido or Big Mom, and you're good. Hit, hit with them and lead performers, and you get a 1.5 times tandem attack boost for the whole crew. Yeah, like it's a low boost, but very easy to get. So I think it's great. And yeah, they have a bit of a cheat sailor. They both make dex match for Driven and Powerhouse and boost the attacks of the top row by 100. It's very rare to see a free to play get one of the, these sheet sailors. And they also set all sorts of decks and starter to quest. So, yeah, that's pretty unique. I don't mind. Very cool free to play unit. But yeah, let's get into the accessible teams. Just going to quickly run them through. Let's start here. Okay, page one. Uh, basically, you can use anything here. Final stage, you get three turns of the spear. You get hunger, special bind, paralysis, resilience. And uh, yeah, basically, the way I plan this is... <coughs> We use Tama final stage, remove the special bind and paralysis. We have Nami Sanji for an war boost, Luffy for attack boost. Uh, I guess we don't really need Kuma since we need to use Yamato anyway. Yamato handles the, the spear and resilience and yeah, should be pretty good damage. Basically the intended team. Uh, next up, we have Black Maria and Ulti. And yeah, I guess my final team didn't use that Luffy and his better, so you could just use the intended Luffy if you want. And I think the missing unit here is Frankie, so I put him back. But this is the team I built, like I've had a lot of variations of teams. But basically with this team, you use Rook special, stage one and two to wave clear, final stage, uh, loop resist to the spear, we have special reverse, block orbs, attack down, uh, crocodile as Robin use her special 
despite the special reverse and Robin does a death time conditional, changes block orbs and handles the diverse attack down right, channels that as well, yes. And then we have support to remove the bind. And we can use Stampede Luffy to get a big attack and orb boost. So that's the plan of this team, should work pretty well. Uh, Sasaki, and I'm basically using the intended team here. So there's special reavers uh, and death up, and the chain debuffs, all of that will be handled by the Frankie. The paralysis and the tandem stuff will be handled by Sanji Yaj. Remember that you need to swap Sanji Yaj once before final stage to get their super swap ready, but then you just super swap, use the special, get attack and ore boost and remove the paralysis. And you can wave clear with Sorrow, use Mufi later for call affinity, and the final spot is whatever you need, just high boost basically. Uh, who's who? The only uh, non-int bo uh, mini boss. Uh, Big Mom and Akainu, so we're using Big Mom as friend captain. She makes Dex and Quick into assembler, which is kind of a big deal because Final stage we get a free full world of Semla orbs and then we can use Big Mom's EX Super since we have Charlotte Cracker on the crew and this will change the Semla orbs into Wano and this lets us break the Wano orb barrier. Uh, as for the rest, like... The plan here is that we use Akainu and Crocodile together, we get attack boost and Shaman from Crocodile, Conditional and Ore Boost from Akainu, Big Mom's EX gives Color Affinity, and the plan here is that we die with Kill with Burn, but I guess I didn't add Hawkins to any team. Uh, I probably put, just put Hawkins on this team to be honest for Wave Clears, and just Kill with Burn here. To get through the resilience and if you take too much damage you can use the Bartu to survive the death hit. And yeah, now the main boss. I've spent so long on this. I have lost patience with this one. I think I put the wrong support here. It should be... Nami op optimally, but we already have a Nami apparently. Oh yeah, she's captain. Jeez. Anyway, Luchi is not bad either. Uh, so basically, uh, one issue here is that I don't know about stage 2. Is stage 2 Psy or Int? I'm kind of banking on both being Int, but very possible that stage 2 is Psy. But yes, yeah, stage 2 has Burn and Resilience. Magellan special applies poison, so we bypass the Resilience. We don't remove the burn. Uh, the specials we use on stage 2 is Nami Robin for first. Okay, in order. First we use Capone Crew. Then for an ore boost. Then we use Nami Robin for an attack boost. Then we use Sanji. Uh, to set up an attack and ore boost for him final stage. Then we kill. And the goal is to... Uh, get more than half HP damage. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. You, you just need to survive basically through the burn. And then on final stage, uh, we have block orbs, special bind for top row, paralysis. You need to have a high chain, death up, damage reduction, and you can't do ore boosts. And we're using Kid Law Frank Captain on this team. And basically, I'm using Jimbe here. If you can, you can use Killer instead, the new one, to handle the damage reduction. But basically, final stage, I will have a big attack and war boost on Sanji, so he's the main damage dealer. Uh, Sanji's special will be used again to remove four turns of paralysis. Barter support handles the rest. Uh, I use Kid and Law to set defense to zero. Uh, Jim removes the damage reduction and gives a shame boundary so we can handle that. 
uh, sword support on Jinbei just to give some extra damage. Same with officer support on Capone Crew. I think it should work. Probably and hopefully until 10 million. But yeah, at least a bit of a different variant for this boss. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.